Okay, so this is the first change to the Constitution after the Civil War. It says that it changed to what it was before the war, which is to me kind of pointless. Like, what was the point of the war? You know? Casey, what does that make you think? Huh? What does that make you think whenever it says it changed the Constitution to what it was before the war, before 600,000 people died? American. What if um, your brother went to war mm -hmm. in the Civil War? It's pointless. Yeah, it's pointless. Like, what What did it change? It just changed it. Yeah. They made a couple of uh, changes, though. I mean, it was still pretty much the same. They canceled state debts from the war. Because war costs a lot of money. You have to feed all those soldiers. You have to pay for their... Um, like their medicine, their herd, their doctors, their guns, their everything. And it, they just canceled the debts. Um, it also ended slavery in Texas, which was a big deal, Juneteenth, um, which made it totally illegal to um, have slaves all together. It was just no more slaves. But blacks still couldn't vote. So they they still didn't have a say in who was in office, who made the laws, what the laws were. They didn't have a say, so they might as well just do it for us. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Johnson accepted Texas back two months later, even though they didn't really consider themselves part of the union. Have you ever heard of Jim Crow laws? No? Well, they're kind of, has anybody heard of Jim Crow laws? So this is kind of like Jim Crow laws. Not, I mean, they're the same with segregation. But basically, it just it restricted blacks' rights. So they're not slaves anymore, but they don't have any rights. They can't vote. And as you see, there were signs over there like that, like the colored waiting room we serve whites only. That was a big thing. And they would also have separate bathrooms and transportations. And there's so many different things that they couldn't do. So it's like, what was the point of them not being slaves anymore? They just didn't have to go to their plantation.
Republicans were these crazy Republicans that they, was, they wanted to punish, reorganize, just destroy and then rebuild the whole Confederacy. Okay? They, um, they started gaining more support, more control, and even taking over the Reconstruction. Like, they were just, I mean, in a way, it was kind of like fair because the Confederates were taking their own toll on the Black Codes, the Jim Crow laws, and all the different segregation things. But the radical Republicans kind of came back and just took total control away from them. And it was like, well, no, sorry, we're taking care of it now. We're not, we're not handling this. They're y'all aren't doing this. So they started doing a lot of different things, and they had a plan. Next slide. had this plan of limiting the role of Confederate leaders, which is the same as just taking the plan of them. Um, they were just protecting the rights of blacks. And the 14th Amendment, which is still there today, says um, they granted ex-slaves their right to citizenship. So they are American citizens. Um, it kept Confederate leaders out of office. It also canceled the public debt of the Confederate Confederacy, which is nice because now that they're all together it's kind of like the union debt as well it's kind of like whenever you get married and your money is your husband's money and it just all piles together so if your husband or your wife's in debt and you get married you're now in debt so if you could just get rid of that you probably would right just be like it's just not deal with it you know um and anybody who abided by these conditions were granted back into the union they were annexed back in and they were welcome back Texas didn't want to. So Texas, I mean, they came, they were like, oh, we really want to be a state in 1845. 15, 16 years later, they're like, oh, no, nope, never mind, we have slaves, so we're going to take ourselves out, be a part of the Confederacy, and now they're being refused. Uh, they're refusing to go back in, which, in my opinion, they shouldn't have been. I think they should have just been like, okay, it's okay. You know, the first time we were a Republican, it didn't really work out so well. So let's just go back to the Union. So we're kind of running out of time. So is it okay if I kind of start talking while y'all are still writing? I'll upload the book. Is that okay with everybody? Okay. So the Congressional Plan. It was the Reconstruction Act of 1867. In response, Texas and nine other states to refuse the ratification of the 14th Amendment. What did we just talk about the 14th Amendment? Krista. Um, you just wrote it down. Yeah, we, there was no place so that she wanted to keep there. So yeah. Yeah. Um, it placed states under military rule. So it's like, you're not messing around. You're following our rules. You're not. Sorry, you're not your own state anymore. Into five military districts. And they had to get rid of the black codes. Can anybody tell me what the black codes were, Brandon? Black codes 
for like what? Remember I said Jim Crow laws? They're ones that kept us. Yeah. The we serve whites only and the. Yeah. Okay, and now the blacks have rights to vote. They are able to vote now and see how to say and the jury and public office, who's in public office. And just, is everybody good or do we need to wait a little bit? Racist, hateful, rude people. They were just, oh, they were evil. They would, I mean, this is very G rated, but they attacked people and burned houses and businesses. They were just some cruel people. And they hid themselves between these maps. It's not in that picture, but they would just put these maps. Does anybody have an idea why they would hide themselves? Let's see. Shelly. Do you know why? Do you have an idea of why they would hide themselves? Yeah. And also, it was kind of like a when you're a businessman or you're a lawyer, you're not supposed to like express your opinions, especially in a manner of murdering people. It's just it's frowned upon. It's frowned upon now, still. You don't just do that. So they would hide themselves. I mean, they were in a way ashamed of what they believed in. Because if they weren't ashamed, then they wouldn't hide themselves. Because you guys know that if you're about to do something, you know, you shouldn't be doing it, you don't hide yourself. You don't wear white pillowcases and a pointy head, but, you know, you hide yourself. And their goal is to restore democratic control of the South and then keep the slaves powerless. Because they believed that blacks were just good for nothing. I don't believe that. I'm just, that's history, sorry. But it's just how it is. 